A client or a customer portal is a place online where your customers can go to get access to the things that you are working on together. If we haven't met, my name is Darren and I have a service-based business where I help other businesses create custom software. So I'm working with multiple clients all the time. So I've created my own customer portal where my clients can come, see the project, the status of the project we're working on, and then we can communicate back and forth on that project and everything related to that project is centralized in that one single place. This is my business's client portal. As the business owner, I love this because it keeps my communication out of email. So I don't have to go searching around for, you know, different clients' emails and everything is centralized in one place. And then for my clients, it just creates a really refined experience because they're like, oh, this guy has a custom, custom solution. This is great. So that's what a portal is. Uh, let me go ahead and walk you through, if you're thinking about creating one for your business, let me walk you through kind of the four levels that I think you can kind of think through the four levels of complexity that you can go with your own custom client or customer portal. So level one is all about location. You wanna give your clients a specific location on the web to access their information. Just send me location. The simplest way to get started with this is to take whatever you're already using and create a public page that's specific to your client. This could be a specific Slack or Teams channel that's specific for that client. Or I've even seen this done as a page on your website. So you do website.com slash Joe or website dot com slash awesome business and on that page is everything that you're sharing back and forth whether it's recordings from coaching calls or documents or copy for some kind of web page level one is all about location you're providing this specific place where the customer can go to get access to what you're working on together now the thing that you want to think about here is uh, security <laughs> so those places technically can be unsecure meaning that anybody can find them potentially so level two is all about authentication. So adding in password protection or having your user create an account. Most website builders these days all have the ability to protect page. Even if you're using something like Notion, you can protect that page with a password. But if you wanna take this a level up, you can create a custom application, which we'll get into in a second. And that gives you the ability to authenticate with like their Google account, their email address, or do some other kind of authentication. What this does is protect that resource that you're building for your client protects all that information so that only they and the people they trust can get access to it. A perfect example of this is my work with my accountant. Every year he sends me to his client portal and I go and upload all of the tax documents that I need him to look at and prepare for my tax statement. That portal is authenticated. I have to log in and only me and him have access to it. All of our communication is still done over email. So I imagine for him having hundreds of clients that that can get kind of hectic emailing back and forth with all of those clients. So the third level of complexity when creating a customer portal is integrating communication with the project or the portal itself. What this does for the business owner is all you have to do is click on the project and you communicate right through there. So it keeps everything nice and organized. You're not having to look at this system and look at that system and try to link the two together. Now, honestly, this tends to be one of the harder things to do, especially because most of the time when you think about communication, you want push notifications and different notifications here. And those can be hard to do technically but I would say that this is kind of like the next thing you want to think about if you if you want to create this really succinct uh, experience both for your team and your clients and then once you have this nice place online where your clients can come and talk to you and get everything that you're creating for them really the fourth level can go anywhere and that is customization so like in my portal it's not just about sharing documents I also allow people to create projects for me to work on you can also think about creating like a custom calculator for your clients related to your industry or sharing some specific data like a specific course or videos you want your clients to have access to this last phase is all about like whatever else you think would be helpful for your clients and the whole experience and once you've gone through these four steps of creating a location that is authenticated that you're communicating with your clients through and now you've customized it for your business, you really have created much more than just a client portal. What you've created is a custom application for your business. It's pretty cool, right? Now, what I don't want you to do is go and start asking around, hey, I need a custom app. Can somebody make this for me? 
What will happen is you'll get quotes for a 50,000 to 200,000 dollars and it'll take three to six to 12 months to get something that you can start using. What I teach with my business and this YouTube channel is utilizing something called no code. That's building custom applications without code. You can think about it like a website builder on steroids. And if you wanna see exactly how this works, how to create your own custom client portal with a no code tool, I have a playlist that I'll link on the screen that you can go watch right now. It shows you how to do everything for free. And if you're like, hey, Derek, I wanna, I wanna chat with you about creating something for my business. Well, go ahead and follow that link down in the description and I'd love to chat with you. Thanks for watching this video and good luck with your client portal.